Hey everyone, in this video we're gonna see detail about address resolution protocol. ARB is an address resolution protocol which is used for translating network layer addresses into link layer addresses. ARP finds the hardware address as known as the MAC address of a host from its known IP address. And it is operating at layer 2 of the OSI model where layer 2 addresses are used for local transmission between devices that are directly connected. We will see detail like how ARP works in the demo in the next slide. ARP table are stored in RAM host and maintained automatically and the entry to ARP cache expires after 20 minutes. In this slide we will see the demo how ARP works. In this demo let's suppose user 1 want to transfer data to user 6 and user 1 have IP address of user 6. Let's say the IP address of user 6 is 172.168.1.0. Before a device sends a datagram to another device, it looks in its ARP cache to see if there is MAC address of the destination device because adapter only understands the MAC address. So user 1 will first check if there is MAC address of the corresponding IP address. If there is no entry found, then the user 1 will broadcast message to every device on the network. Each device compares its IP address to its own. Only the device with matching IP address reply to the sending device. Here, in this case, user one, user six will reply that IP address 172.168.1.0 is mine, and here is my MAC address. It will send the MAC address to user one. The source device add the destination MAC address to its ARP table for future reference. By this, user one can send data to user six. Now we will see example. How like when the host are at different network. In this, the network is physically connected by the router in the same IP network or subnetwork to resolve IP to MAC address. Let's say user one again want to transfer uh, data to user six. As explained earlier, user one will first check if there is MAC address of the corresponding IP address in its ARP cache. If there is no entry found, then the user one will broadcast message to every device on the network. Now here the router that separated the device will not send a broadcast message because the router does not pass the network layer broadcasts. Therefore the addresses cannot be resolved. In such cases router act as act as an intermediate and respond to the ARP request with a proxy ARP replying containing its own MAC address. Then the sending device send the datagram to the router. Then router will forward datagram to the destination. This only happen if the IP address is known to exist and it is it is on different segment to the local local segment. The drawback of the ARP protocol is there is no authentication required at this level. So sp spoofing of IP and MAC address is possible. So additional software may be required to monitor the ARP table and prevent from malicious attack. Now this is a simple example of ARP cache where uh, in ARP table there is source IP address with source MAC address and destination IP address with its destination MAC address are stored in tabular format. And these are few command that you can run in the command prompt to check all the present interfaces and other details. If you have any question or doubt, please do let me know in the comment section and definitely I will try to answer your all queries. And finally, thanks for watching.